I'm Cardinal Free, and I got my unit on. We gonna talk today. <laughs> everybody it's dollar smith coming back at you with another video glad to be here with everybody today y'all i got some hair on i got my unit on not my unit but my unit so we got some things to talk about because your girl is car note free if you're brand new to this channel welcome my name is dolly i am a typical millennial who is tired of being broke and i have paid off a lot of debt so far at least in my book well over 10k so if you want to join me on my journey because i started my journey with learning how to keep my change in between paychecks to make a financial change go ahead and hit that like button go ahead and hit that subscribe button and definitely don't forget to comment because i do talk back you just want to learn what not to do with your finances go ahead and hit that subscribe button because i don't make some decisions in the past that nobody else should be making so now if you have clicked on this video i'm pretty sure you have asked yourself the question should i continue saving or should i just take a chunk of my savings and go ahead and throw it on my car because i'm gonna have to pay the money anyway and i was a person who was always searching up that question on youtube i was trying to get like the best opinion i was wanting to ask my neighbor i know that song don't ask my neighbor y'all know that song but anyways yeah i was looking that up and i was just like you know what i'm sorry y'all i'm just getting a little distracted i got my shock car you not on okay but um anyways y'all so i was continuing to ask that question should i say should i pay off my car and this is this was a turning point for me i of course have been in the naca program i have been in it for a while and i was like okay let me go back and see what they're going to say and then my appointment was canceled then I, I basically tried to beat the system i was like okay i know my credit is not bad at all but i knew but i knew my debt to income ratio was it was a little questionable. I applied for a mortgage through Bank of America and that didn't work out. So apparently they have this like first time home buyer program. Well, it's not a first time home buyer program, but they get like grants and stuff that you can put towards your down payment, closing costs and all that stuff like that. So I applied for it, did not work out. I applied for Navy Federals. Um, it's kind of like a first time home buyer program. I forget exactly what it's called. I'll try to put a picture of it on the screen. And basically when I applied for a pre-approval, pre I don't know what that word is that was just trying to come out. When I applied for a pre-approval, it came back as denied. And the main reason was my debt to income ratio was too high. So I was like, okay so my file came back with conditions over on NACA Navy Federal told me no Bank of America told me no so guess what to me that sounded like no's all the way around and I think when I tried to go through like even just having a conversation with your traditional lenders in these new um like neighborhoods new build neighborhoods when i told them like how much i made and how much i owe they were like oh have a good day so debt to income ratio has been a continuum throughout all of these no's right then i came back to the question i was like i've been saving my shop payment for naca and it's hit over the 8k mark just a little bit y'all i think it was like 8100 or something like that and I had been saving for a while. And um, I looked at the balance of my car, which is was around the 8600 8, mark. And of course, because I had been doing my savings challenge at the beginning of the year, I had been saving that as well. So I said, okay, if I keep getting told no, like if I were told yes, if I were approved, and I was in that house, guess what? I would have a mortgage, I would have a car note, I would not have an electric bill. And I'm like, I would have all of those things and I'm still paying a car note. So I was like, okay, 
how about I just go ahead and pay the car off? Because I personally do not feel comfortable financially with having both a mortgage and a car note. So therefore, it answered the question for me of, should I continue saving or should I just take a portion of my savings and pay off my car? Now, did this drain my whole, um, what was it called, shop payment account? Yes, it did. But I plan to go back to NACA around March or April of next year because that'll give me some time to go ahead and build my savings back up to continue saving my shop payment which is approximately $750 but if I could save more I definitely will keep my budget tight and right keep that budget snatched so if you I suggest switching to a cash book. yeah y'all I went ahead and paid Knight Rider off he is all mine I'm still waiting for the the bank to go ahead and release the lien because anytime you finance a car the company um, and check by state would I believe with the company um, that you finance the car with they are listed as the first lien holder on your title so I live in a, an electronic title state so I can check my title online just by using my VIN number and I can see if they have already released that lien so I can see my free and clear title so I am super excited I almost want to give me like a mini Publix like cupcake and put like a candle in it and like girl you, you did that you did that so as of right now where I stand because at the beginning of my journey when I was working retail and I sat down at a Panera Bread and I was like you know what I don't want to be broke no more who, who do I owe and where do I start with these payments though so when I sat down and I did that calculation about 52,000 and right now I only owe my student loans so I owe about 30,000 on that so only 52,000 to 30,000 52 minus 30 that's 22 that's the difference so technically I'm 22k down in debt and it feels really good it feels really good that I don't drive into work and I know that I'm not working to pay my car note. Like, it feels really good. I definitely have to say before I start rambling and I'm just going to go ahead and wrap this video up. Honey, my shock con is just like everywhere with this wind today, okay? But I'm just going to say this. If you are a person considering if you should use a portion of your savings to pay off your car or a large debt or whatever just consider your comfort number so dave ramsey always recommends having at least a thousand dollars in savings but some people may not feel comfortable with that you may feel comfortable with 2500 or 3000 whatever that number is for you focus in on that number and if you have saved that plus more and you want to go ahead and put like the a higher amount on there so let's just say you have seven thousand saved and two thousand is your comfort number then put five thousand on the car if you're really just wanting to make a big dent in whatever you owe that may be an option for you but either way think through it that was the calculated risk for me <laughs> yes i got a lot of savings to rebuild but i feel like your girl is definitely free to go ahead and do some savings challenges and i will be starting that on monday november 1st so if you want to come along with me do your research go ahead and find you a savings challenge to start with let's go into the new year ready let's go into the new year focus really i have some good news some additional good news soon but then i need y'all to keep doing something for me i need you to keep living keep the change to make a financial change this has been dolly smith with another video girl is car note free looking at it you want to be car note free too or whatever note you're trying to get rid of i claim it for you i stand in the gap with you let's go talk to y'all later dolly smith out